Good. 2 a.m. in the morning, everybody, and welcome to Squirrel, 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 Hi. Hello. So, some interesting shit's been happening, I've just realized. Mm hmm. If I jab this button here, put this on the screen, which is, which is some folks talking, it's called Square Enix Live. I wonder if they're actually going to be doing a conference. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting? It, yeah. Yeah? I mean Doritos in the background. Uh, I want to munch them all, but I've decided not to eat. <sighs> Hello, everybody. And I'm excited for this one. I want to see the Avengers. It's been mm -hmm. years in development. I want to see... I want gameplay. I want them to open the show with it. Because I just want them to go, bam. Here's why we're doing... Because they're, if they're doing a live show, we would go for a thing. Mm. Not just a video thing. Maybe the video thing was testing the waters. I am awake. Hello, Snizbot. <laughs> Rebecca is very much here. Hang on, test. Yes, you're here. I got my boob honk just then, for anyone wondering what Daniel did. The term is squeezed. It was mm -hmm. not a honk. I didn't make the honk noise. It was just a regular boob squeeze. Ah. So, Nevarius says, I got the feeling the Avengers game was secretly cancelled long ago. <laughs> bam, 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 bam that person for breaking my heart. Anyway, <clears throat> why must you make Rebecca suffer? Rebecca, do you want to be here? Yeah. Do you want to be here in a more committed way? Did I interrupt you watching like, the last episode of uh, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend? I don't think it's the last episode. Is it the last episode? I don't know. Is it the last episode? It was the 13th episode. That tends to be the last sort of episode. And oh it doesn't have the word judgment title. What? Strain. Might be about to end. <sighs> now honk her boob. All right. Honk. That was a terrible hunk. That was fine. Here you go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Not a hunk. Felt good though. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes. It's a beautiful painting. Hang on a second. I've seen those smoke effects before. <laughs> They've stolen my thing. <laughs> Square Enix have stolen my thing. You cheeky feckers, Square Enix. Changing color with clouds. I did that. Oh, it is a live thing. Oh, sweet. Oh, well, there we go, then. So, so apparently, mm -hmm. these are kind of funny games. Mm -hmm. Now, they look like people to me, not games. Also, they're called kind of funny games, but their Instagram and Twitter is kind of funny vids. But that's, And the, their video channel is kind of funny games. Ah! Oh! Oh, oh, my mind. I just got Spider-Man shirt on. Spider-Man confirmed for Marvel Avengers. Or just, just a fan. Oh, yeah, I used to run this company. Remember when I used to run this company? <laughs> <laughs> that was a weird day of my life. <laughs> oh, Define Next Ghost. 1,000 twiddlies. Sorry, some twiddlies have been coming in. We haven't been paying attention to them. We haven't yeah. been reading twiddlies just because uh, we tend not to during E3, E3 time. Just because yeah. obviously there's a lot going on and we don't want to... We don't have to be talking over all the cool stuff. Yeah, exactly. But we do really appreciate them. We Remember see them when... come in at the side and feel really bad that we're not reading them out. Remember when all these conferences used to be really fucking late? They always used to be late. Like, we always used to start late. Nowadays, yeah. they seem to have this, like, permanently guaranteed constant countdown to being correct. Mm. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I was accidentally the overlord. Anyway, we've got one minute left. Let's see some Avengers. Let's see some Avengers. Na 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 na. Let's see. Has Rebecca seen the new Persona Five trailer? I have not. Oh. Hey, wait. There's. They've got two different things. Twitch. Get rid of kind of funny games. I want to talk to these boys. How are they? They don't even get like honey. Ooh, things oh, things happening. Things are happening. They're still talking, but there's things audio. Things happening. Kicked off in a second. <sighs> All right. Thirty seconds. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's right on the PlayStation YouTube channel. Thank you, Jim Tricks. Jim Tricks. Nice. Nice. I'm ready. I'm excited. Oh, sorry. Send some pride to release. Woo! Dance music is gay rights. Oh, that that would have been five hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sorry. I just like shout out to this video. Anyway, boom to fucking yada. Let's get some audio in this. Zero seconds. Oh, we're back here. 
Gameplay footage, perhaps on various platforms, various settings have changed yet, we know. Ooh. I don't know what's there, but everyone's cheering. It's a big dildo. Oh, it's from Fantasy 7. Opening with the. Oh, I hope this fucking man just gave me a gift. This is episodic, isn't it? They're releasing this episodically, which I think is really weird for a RPG. But she is. That guy! Oh, <laughs> 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 I think I might have done it for a video. But like not Please properly. welcome Yoshinori Kitase, producer, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, it's done. There we go. I'm very happy to be able to introduce this long beloved title once again. After 22 years, <laughs> the familiar characters we love have returned while becoming more beautiful and captivating than ever before. え、今までを応援し続けてくださってるファンの皆さん、長年のサポートありがとうございます。え、大変お待たせいたしました。新たなる冒険へと共に踏み出すことを非常に楽しみにしております。To our long-time fans, we thank you for your support and patience like over these years. And we look forward to embarking on this journey together. え、フェイスブンの方リメイクするにあたってえ、ファイナルファンタジー7リメイクプロジェクトの最初の作品となる本作ではミッドガルのストーリーを広大にかつ緻密に語っております。またゲーム Remaking Final Fantasy VII has allowed us to dive much deeper into the world and its characters than ever before. The game design was optimized for this title as well, and we anticipate two Blu-ray discs worth of gameplay content. <laughs> the first game in this project expands on the story of Midgar and is such an elaborate retelling that it has become a solid standalone game in its own right. Through the content we are about to unveil today and through all that we have yet to unveil, we will not disappoint your expectations. Your reunion with the Final Fantasy VII you know is near. え、ま、それと同時にですね、当時を知らないゲームファンの方は、え、また新しいね、ファイナルファンタジーと出会うことになります。To newcomers who never played the original, uh, we present to you a completely new Final Fantasy and a perfect starting point to explore the world of Final Fantasy VII. Please welcome Neil Pabone, Senior Manager, Product Marketing, Square Enix. Neil. So, Neil is here to introduce you and walk you through gameplay. So, just with the two of them, the Sam Farrell's just got better off the top of my head. All right, everyone. 
Let's move. <laughs> to the presentation. Final Fantasy VII Remake features a hybrid gameplay system that merges real-time action with strategic command-based combat. For starters, each press of the square button is a swing of Cloud's Buster Sword. Oh shit, it's not turn-based? dodges and blocks all in Ooh. real time. His standard attacks do some damage, but they barely scratch the surface of Cloud's true potential. Succeeding on the battlefield requires much more than just hacking and slashing. Cloud needs to be tactical. He needs A, T, B. Two A, T, B bars are displayed in the lower right. These fill up slowly over time, but fill much faster as Cloud lands standard attacks. Hmm, interesting. Not turn Once an ATB I mean. bar is full, you can enter tactical mode, where time slows to a crawl, and you have the opportunity to choose actions from the com command menu. Katasi-san, I've had the pleasure of seeing quite a bit of the game, but tactical mode never gets old for me. I could just sit here all day long and watch this beautiful slow motion action. あの、感覚の皆さんね、おそらくね、他の部分をもう少し見たいのではないかと思いますが、皆さんいかがでしょう。he can use ATB charges to cast spells. Of course, this being a remake, we're sure to see some familiar faces. With the use of his iconic gun arm, Barrett is able to target enemies at a distance. Barrett's standard attacks generate ATB charges similar to Cloud, but his abilities are entirely different. Switching between characters in combat is done with a single button press, which makes rotating through party members a snap. Speaking of other party members, Katasi-san, when are we going to see Tifa in action? <laughs> maybe, maybe soon. Soon. All right. Characters will continue to fight even when you're not controlling them directly, but it's up to you to choose how and when ATB charges are used. You can maximize your effectiveness by switching between characters or issuing commands to characters with full ATB bars. I mean, the fact it's on turn base made it so much more Every enemy has a focus gauge that fills up as you do damage. When the gauge is full, the enemy becomes staggered and you'll deal bonus damage. Tactical mode evokes the command selections from the original Final Fantasy VII and allows players to enjoy battle while taking the time to think strategically. For players who prefer fast-paced action, abilities and spells can be bound to shortcuts for immediate execution. Nice. Shortcuts make combat extremely dynamic, but the choice of using them is entirely up to you. Right, Katase-san? That's right. The game has been made so that you can choose how to play. I hope players get excited about this. Well, that's a brief introduction to combat in Final Fantasy VII Remake, and we look forward to showing you a whole lot more in the coming months. For now, let's see how Cloud and Barrett do against a more formidable foe. The crowd's fucking electric. You double crossing! Really poly with that massive sword. Carefully. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, punish your mode. It's like chains on the ball back up or something. I'm 
Yeah, me too. This looks fun. Turn based combat. I'd be interested to see what general response to that is. Hardcore Final Fantasy kind of panic. I'm actually going to give it a go. Send the hardcore suit of Final Fantasy fans in the Supreme Service. Oh, sweet! I'm really pleased. Just another way to play Final Fantasy. Yeah, if you want to play Final Fantasy Seven, do all just play one of the other like this version. Of it. Hello, I would definitely be one of the grumpy people. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should definitely say that. I would absolutely be bitter about it. Of course you would. I just know I would be. I think it's a good sign that they're willing to evolve the key part of the gameplay just to kind of go with it's the field, it's the modern thing. Yeah, no, I think it's a really good idea, and I, I hope the. Because I have time to play it. <laughs> I think they're liking it. <laughs> Where's Tunnel the Tuesday? Oh, well, it's just died. Oh. You hear that? Damn thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we got to move. <laughs> Please welcome Tetsuya Nomura, director, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Thank you for joining us, Nomura-san. It is an absolute honor to have you here. Katase-san, how do you feel working with Nomura-san once again on Final Fantasy VII Remake? I think it's a bit unfair of them to have the, uh, the replay of the Bethesda conference. <laughs> That's just not fair at all, really. Since the original Final Fantasy VII, I've worked with him on many titles, but it has been a while since we've actually had him work so heavily on a project like this, from the direction to character design to the story. And I'm really happy to see him working on this title with the same passion that he had 22 years ago. え、
、えー、プレイ画面を結構長めに見たと思いますが。Out, he is wearing a t shirt that says Eli. Our snake is not joining sparingly. <laughs> so, first and foremost,、uh, we wanted to extend our gratitude to those who have been waiting so patiently and have been supporting us for such a long time until now. And also,、um, we've taken a look at gameplay right now, and we've fairly showed you、um, a good bit. <laughs> ですね。実際に。スクエイライ。え？スクエイライ。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。え。
You're not real. Clown. I have a favor to ask of you. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Yeah! Hold on to that hatred. Dun, dun, dun. Oh shit! <laughs> March 2020 is so fucking stacked right now. Yeah. Holy shit. That's a beautiful steel book. Sweat that I'm across the piece then. I am across the community this year. I've got faith. <laughs> oh shit. Well, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to sell out. I think. Oh, wait. It's already sold out. <laughs> Life is Strange 2. Follow that one. Hey, just the sun I wanted to see. Did you play the Awesome Adventures? I know what happened when you guys were in Seattle. I just watched the video. How do you feel? I don't think it's my kind of thing. However, the guy I met the guy who did it. I think that could be your kind of thing. It's just feelings. Ready when you are, young master. Oh my god, this is so exciting. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love the setting. It's so beautiful, man. Time to hit the road. Why is that for Ogre Mummy? You don't be fine, Daniel. <gasps> Thank you for letting me know. Oh my god, I, I was playing Falls on it, started chatting my name at me, and I was like, okay, hi! <laughs> Starting to be able to control his powers. Oh, he has power. No, I shouldn't do this! Stop, are you crazy? On the ground! Now! I wish I reacted like that. You know, I'm genuine. <laughs> I'm really glad I got to meet you. It's the same for me. Ah, uh, bro hug. What a nice dude, man. It's the puppy! The puppy! We got a puppy! Daniel! Oh, shit, it's not just emotional. It's emotionally intense. Ending, isn't it? This game is awesome. Hey, today. Is it out right here? Um, blue. No, purple. <laughs> From ages long ago. Miasma has blanketed the world. What the year 2000 is there? <laughs> crystals keep the deadly miasma in check, but the crystal's power is not eternal. I mean, I'm feeling the music. The this fucking Crystal Chronicles! Journey to protect their home. <laughs> They've remade Crystal Chronicles. Crystal Chronicles! If we had no crystals, miasma would consume us all, correct? Keeps keep thinking you're saying my asthma. That's <laughs> In online multiplayer mode, caravan with friends wherever they may be. Keep the adventure close at hand. The journey now unfolds on smartphones. <laughs> Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition. This winter, embark on a new journey once more. PS4, Switch, and phones. The Spark Traveler. A game that looks really fucking gorgeous. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Lead us on our way. This should be fun. Ooh, that in 4K would look very pretty. This world is full of mysteries. Prepare yourself. I will not lose to you. Now the 
Like the occasional massive fella. On Steam. Oh, and I could roll a toilet roll. Not a whole one. Shit. Oh, what? Who's that guy? What a dragon thing. What was this? The Last Remnant Remastered. Why are they not calling things The Last uh, Rem Remnant or Life is Stranger? <laughs> oh my god, Life is Stranger would be great. Yeah. Hey, available tonight! Hey! On the Switch. I don't give a shit, but yay! Finally, some things that aren't out March 2020. <laughs> I know, right? You hear that music and you're like... I'm about to say something very dragon questy. The only, the builders, builders oh my god, it's dragon <laughs> quest builders I hate god. that they have that gridded logo where the squares don't line up! I it doesn't even line up where the bits are cut out! I hate that I'm going to play this. <laughs> Just put so much time in this, I know I will. Of all things, and captured the builders. All hope seems to be lost until you, a young apprentice builder, manages to escape the clutches of evil. Also, you're a super saiyan, because fuck it. That's <laughs> rabbit. And with the help of your spirited and mysterious companion, Malroth, it is up to you to dot your mallet and club, unravel the riddles of this land, and defeat the I mean, if they the stop constantly undoing your progress like they did the last one, it might actually be alright. That's the thing. This could be a really fun game. Well, this could be an ad. A quick game. <laughs> Discover your true potential as a master builder. Yay! There is a land of adventure with many islands offering unlimited building combinations. You will have to master new crafting skills on each island with more to do and even more to create. <laughs> <laughs> Everything in Dragon Quest I honestly don't want to play this because I hate their fucking logo. Bigger. You kind of, you play. Oh, they can be, you can build anywhere now, though. Mm, there was the first one you play, thinking, oh, this is going to be so much better when I'm further on, and I can build more stuff, and then they just keep taking it away from you. <laughs> yeah, but also their logo infuriates me. The squares don't even line up with the bits they cut out. How hard is that to do, right? It's, it's bizarre to me that they, like, did that. Yeah. That they, everyone checked that off and was like, no, that's fine. It's like when Kingdom Hearts had the fucking no music sound effects. Yeah, that was weird. But beware. Monsters roam this land and will need to be dispatched with cunning composure. Luckily, a company <laughs> <in your laughs> request is the enigmatic Malroth, an aggressive amnesia. Who's named Malrath? Bavrath. Oh, that'll be fine. He'll be fine. He won't Use trade. Powerful attacks on the battlefield to take down monstrous beasts. Beast. Work together with your villagers to till soil, thing. plant <laughs> seeds, and raise a multitude of crops. Oh Be God. sure to customize the way you build your fields to support the kind of crops you're growing. <gasps> oh, that's a big word. From the humble cabbage and wheat to tantalizingly tasty tomatoes. <laughs> really sell the tomatoes there. <laughs> Untie! Big projects require big, big help. You and three friends can team up online to build anything you can imagine. Let your build creativity run wild! It looks better than the first one by a long way. Because mm. it doesn't look like... The only limit is your imagination. <laughs> so call on your friends and build so just your fate together! together. The road you 
build is paved with peril, young builder. Only you can defeat the children of Hargon. And Fraser. Bring an end to destruction and save the world in Dragon Quest Builders 2. Oh my god, not even the 2. The 2 doesn't have it. You had that. That was... That's so weird that that went like the, they didn't fix that. Switch. Old luminary. Ictris has chosen. Well, Bobby's also having adventures. I feel like we've seen trailers for like all of these things. Yeah. Oh, the graphics dropped off when we cut didn't they? <laughs> I love that cut between the two. Nah, that was the thing. Android 17. <laughs> Dragon Quest Echoes of an Exclusive A Definitive Edition S. Oh, wait, sorry. Dragon Quest 11 Echoes of an Exclusive A Definitive Edition S. I'm not writing all that down. With Android 18 is the lead. 17, sorry. Get it right. <laughs> This is Amy's thing, isn't it? Oh dear. The Turing test. Back the form. To the Nazoya. Tokyo Dark. Deadbeat Heroes. Oh my god, heads! Oh my god, my god, heads. Fear effect, Sedna. Oh. oh, hello. Oh god, I love that game. Makes my brain feel itchy. Battalion. I played that and was shot and immediately killed, so I stopped playing it. She <laughs> don't love to look at that game. Cars. Hello, everyone. This is Carolina. Alberto and Carlos Mastreta. We're a family of motorsport fans from Mexico, and we're the founders of Original Fire Games. Over the last few decades, we have seen a fascinating evolution in racing games. And nowadays, you can drive almost any type of car on amazing recreations of the best tracks in the world. However, we believe it's time to try something different. We want to do this by reviving a style that pioneered racing games decades ago. Our game, our game. Oh. Today. Ooh, I want to hear. Which brings together a whole range of styles and eras of motorsport. We are delighted to share this moment with you. And show a sneak preview of our game, which Square Enix Collective will publish in 2020. Join us for the ride and see you again soon. It looks like micro machines. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, that's a shit stuff. I'm doing that little bully mini game I played too much of in the arcade cabinet. But, you know, with real cards. Circuit Superstars! Yeah, I'm not good enough to play this. Battalion 1944 <laughs> recaptures the core of classic competitive first person shooters. See all these people dying, they're me. To quickly coordinate strategies with your team on the fly, whilst keeping your movement nimble and your aim precise if you hope to beat out the competition. <laughs> it's just me. Get killed, I'm no idea to kill me. There are multiple me. game modes for you and your team to dive into. 
Test your skills in domination, capture the flag, or team deathmatch, and perfect your tactics in the highly competitive wartime game mode. Face It's competitive toolset is fully integrated into the game, bringing world-renowned competitive matchmaking, 1v1s, tournaments, rankings, and leaderboards. I would not be high on any of those. Kill enemies, win matches, and rank up to demonstrate your Battalion 1944 prowess and unlock visual customization rewards. <laughs> Sorry, people with us. Each season will bring challenges for you to complete and medals to unlock. Whilst tracking your in-game accomplishments, and medals got off I think it has that one. To compare them against your friends by in-game leaderboards. Halt the Axis offensive in their tracks with the rapid fire PPSH, or take fire with pixel precision with the Mosin Nagant, and a whole host of new weapons just as deadly as their owners. With a range of environments to test your skills in, and a variety of weapons at your disposal, play as a team and compete with the leaderboards. <laughs> That's how it is. On Steam. Dun, dun, dun. He got the maracas. Normally, this is my first screening music. I boot up Final Fantasy 15 and go for a ride with my boys. <laughs> you love those boys, don't you? I love my boys. I'm like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so boring. Kingdom Farts! Kingdom Fox, it's not fun to play. <laughs> Are you bored and tired? I'm very bored and very tired. <laughs> I've re I'm just getting flashbacks to the one level of this game I play, which just makes me want to hate everyone forever. Hey, we watched some uh, watchdog footage. We did. We were sent a bit of extra watchdog footage. Mm -hmm. We had a, a looky loo mm -hmm. through. It was very and we were kind of working out how big the map was. Mm -hmm. We were pointing out stuff like the UK flags, not the UK flag anymore. <laughs> and uh, my favourite thing Cyber Dogs there. <laughs> there is some sort of weird techno store with two massive dog statues outside of it. Not identical ones, but it's it's there enough that I'm going to hang out there all the time. Also, when you scan people, it says what they're doing until what time? Please mm -hmm. welcome, now he or she, producer and director, Final Fantasy XIV Online. Half the people in that audience. Just... <laughs> I like the story of Final Fantasy XIV, as in how it was made. They released it, it was shit, they went, nah, we'll do it again. And they did, and it was good, it was much better. Final Fantasy XIV, the first 
So we'd like to take a little bit of your time to show off um, Shadowbringers Final Fantasy XIV's third expansion pack, which is releasing on July the 2nd. <laughs> え、世界中のプレイヤー光の戦士の皆さんのおかげです。この場を借りて改めてお礼申し上げます。it's been six years since the release of A Realm Reborn in 2013, and over the years we have surpassed 16 million total registered users. Oh, three, uh, Plus, uh, we have reached the highest three, uh, number of active three, uh, subscribers in history. Silently. history before the launch of Shadowbringers. You haven't started yet! <laughs> Thanks to our players, our Warriors of Light. え、このシャドウブリンガーズではですね、拡張パッケージにとどまらない新作RPG1本分のボリュームとそしてゲーム体験をお届けしたいと思います。We <笑> view Shadowbringers as, as more than a simple expansion pack, but as a new game filled with new, uh, volume and gameplay experiences that are comparable to a brand new standalone RPG. Is that logo title. dude is actually stabbing himself in the face. それから踊り子、新種族のオーガルとビラ。これから<笑> Final Fantasy series at least until 2020 March 3rd when Final Fantasy 7 remake comes out. え、それではいよいよ7月2日、え、ローンチとなりますが、この場で世界初公開となるその漆黒のヴィランズのローンストレーラーをご覧いただこうと思います。We are pleased to bring a world premiere of the launch trailer for Shadowbringers releasing on July the 2nd. How popular is Final Fantasy 14? It's a huge amount of players. They seem to react. Or at least it's all Final Fantasy notes anyway. It's Final Fantasy. The oldest joke in the book. And when, pray tell, did we last have a dark night? Over a hundred bleeding years ago, that's when. Got the remaking Dark Phoenix again. In that chaotic the time's a charm. Between realms, time and space warp and blend in unexpected ways. What Orianger saw was the future. That's great, it's been my favorite bit of this conference. No, I've had my right? That's how the Senators came to be. They were I'm here for the Avengers. I want fucking footage. I want it to be out today. I want the. Things to keep going. There we go. Oh, fuck off. That was, oh, that was horrible. There is no going back. The eternal light of these creatures has confounded us for nigh on a hundred years. But each we have put down. But this game always looks like it's been really weirdly color corrected. It looks like it's running through a really crap <laughs> Ah, oh, look at the doggy. Ah, oh, look at the. It's me. I like when Geralt. So I have a person with a hairy arm. Random person. Spooky boy. Me again. Galarix <laughs> is the Final Fantasy XIV. Dead. This world's beyond saving. 
like those who try to save it. This world hey, is full of heroes. Character funny is. What was it for? That's a legitimate fashion for it. This is a long trailer. <laughs> Oh shit, what's happening? <laughs> How many years have I waited for this moment? For one possessed of Yeah, that guy! I do love the audience reaction, Henry Racker, that's really cool. Yeah, I like that too. I especially like they weren't paid for those moves. Yeah. That's made this a lot more palatable. Oh my god, that was for Shadow Breakers. Yeah. The really will nice. of the star was, was made manifest. I'm sorry, I can only assume I misheard, but it sounded an awful lot like you were implying both Zodiac and Hydaelyn are not gods. But they are gods after a fashion, yes. The eldest and most powerful of primals. No way. Primals. The end. Well, thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, oh, tech land time. What are you doing? Oh, I was just thinking about. That's fucking <laughs> Dude was just attacking that wall. He's like, yeah, fuck that wall. Fuck that wall in particular. God, the festival was good. So the second one seems like we're better because we're doing a lot of weird shit with it. All right, ten minutes left. God fucking damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Just want some fucking adventure. Oh, I don't give a fuck, you sh oh. Every one of these games looks fucking identical. <laughs> oh, that one's a dragon with lightning. Oh, that's a dragon with... <laughs> it's like I've animated it. Oh, you dumb shit. Got eaten. <laughs> it's you lobster. Saga Scarlet Garage. What the fuck was that called?
Did Thanos snap the Avengers game away? I don't know. A for an A. Romancing Sa Saga 3 and Saga Scarlet Grace Ambitions. <laughs> what a great name. Well, I'm assuming they're only going on for an hour. They did half an hour last year. I think they're an hour. Give me Tony Stark. Oh, you better not give me another Final Fantasy! <laughs> Enjoyed by fans the world over has surpassed 39 million downloads. Now, Square Enix proudly presents the international reveal of a new title born from the FFBE universe. Final Fantasy can bollock my elbows. War of the Visions. Final Fantasy. A oh, vision is from Final Fantasy. Fantasy. No, Avengers. FFBE and War of the Visions will be the pillars of the growing world of Lapis. I'm gonna eat Doritos very angrily if I don't see fucking Iron Man or Captain Black. This is the story of Man. A continent of Lapis. A tiny spark here. Adora the Explorer. That would embroil the entire continent in conflict. Shit. Flags to this fighting. What a great game I got. The War of the Visions. The Specsavers versus Dolan Black. Leonis. Ruled by the Red Lion Monarch, possesses the power of visions as well as twin princes. Oh shit, you can see. The other one's blind. Burn just seemed falling off the, the building. Western Kingdom, Doesn't know where to put his balls. Peace and its brave and wise king. Fenis, where the king of the savages has organized Leather the in. barbarian tribes into Argora's mightiest militant state. Was it the great eastern kingdom over which reigns its icy despot? Crystal Sanctum, a religious city state with believers throughout Ardra, founded by one who claims to be God. Each burden with its own dignity, thus is the curtain drawn on a struggle in which the fate of nations rests. Is for one's homeland. War of the Visions. Final Fantasy. Brave Exvius. Now in development. Give me Iron Man or give me death! Oh, don't worry, we're back out of Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix down. Oh, fuck my brain. It's three o'clock in the morning. doing his washing or at war. Stranger are thing. Out rather. Too many games have out. I can't deal with the amount of games that speak without these days. Oh shit, is this trailer again? Yeah, let's fuck it. Watch it again. Are we supposed to be watching it again? I think oh. it was the tease afterwards. <laughs> no. I don't know what that game is, but it's coming out in over a year's time. Please welcome Sebastian Wojciechowski, studio head, People Can Fly. I'll have to see if 
Mine's flat, it's window in a minute, then it's just a public camera for <laughs> All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sebastian Wojciechowski, studio head at People Can Fly, the studio behind Bulletstorm and Gears of War Judgment. Yeah, any Bulletstorm fans? It does? All right. Well, let me tell you, it feels great to be here and feels amazing to be able to finally announce Outriders. <laughs> I'd like to thank Iron the Man team at People Can Fly. You guys are amazing, <laughs> and I know that some of you are watching this live, even though it's 4 a.m. in the morning in Poland, so make a noise for them, please. <laughs> wake them <'em> up. <laughs> <laughs> After thank the you. funeral procession thank of Final Fantasy, and guys, wake them up. For the help and support as we work together on this exciting new IP. You know, over the past few years, People Can Fly has grown to over 200 developers and four studios across Poland, the UK, and most recently the US to bring you what is our most ambitious shooter to date. To present more, <laughs> to present more of our vision, I would like to take this moment to introduce a short video from our game director, Bartek Mita. So thanks a lot, more on Outriders this winter. Thank you. Shooters are in our DNA. It's our passion. And it's what we do. Not making that joke. Outriders draws on all our experience from all our previous titles. It's a game we wanted to make for a very long time. Are you sure that lady's computer was on fire? We describe Outriders as a dark, modern shooter built with traditional values. By that, I mean we are creating an experience with a strong story that you can enjoy with your friends or on your own. We want to tell a complete story. We are confident we are building a shooter with a powerful gunplay, incredible weaponry, and a hostile new world. Is it might end on this episode, it's gone on for half an hour. I don't know. It's it's they game can't end on this. Heads ever I mean, it's, it's just look, we've decorated our guns. Oh, I thought just fucking fair. Outriders is a one, two, or three player drop in, drop out co-op shooter. In our game, you will create your own Outrider and journey across the hostile planet of Vino in search of the source of a mysterious signal. It's it's a pretty dark and unforgiving world. And yes, there is a lot more depth to the game, but I can't say too much more right now. I feel like I've just downloaded this information scan video in the second to my brain. Chuck reference! <laughs> oh, Fly Avengers. Cancel. <laughs> the name. It's blue. So we do better do. Reincarnation Fuck, man. is the foundation <laughs> of our way of life. <laughs> we you get halfway through you go. Been given oh, and the offer up prayers for the next. Late. It is no. grief and death which shackles the living and causes the dead to stray. Indeed, there is no greater affront to reincarnation. So we turn our grief sure to dentistry. joy as we send off the dead. Batman. Souls of <laughs> those like who held <laughs> back their tears in life. Still need salvation. This is just some gameplay. All right, just so someone talking to someone. It's not good enough. All right, so I'm talking to a lot of people. I don't fucking know. To the watchers. We're gonna do turn-based strategy. The watchers sever the bonds that tie the lost to this world and send them off. Oh, the watchers fucking cut our friends' head off. They now. 
navigate the emotions of the living and the dead. They prize life above all else. This is the story of one watcher. Who watches the watcher? Oh, it's called. It's not called the watchers or anything. It's Onak -na Onaki. Let me show a quick turn to your left. Pink, perfect for the Avengers. Gonna, I was gonna say, is this gonna be the Avengers? <laughs> Here comes another fucker phone, haven't they? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really like three frames per second in my trailer. Is this three months of this generation? Because the footage is in 4.3. Pigeon with that slice there, that was horrible. I can't believe you the pigeon. This is like before footage. <laughs> I fucking hope so! You can only render this out at 10 FPS. Ah, fuck it, go with it. No, no cameras, please, we don't see it. So was that a remaster? I did not know. God, if you like JRPGs, I think you, you just covered it cum side of it from South Park, innit? <laughs> just jizz. No. Wait. Yes. <laughs> yes! Fucking finally! Helicaria! <laughs> Yeah, my boy! Oh, yeah. They always go for something. Tony, check it out. At once. We're trying to keep up. This just got a whole lot more interesting. Dead tech. Tony, lower the cables. Why are you always going to be using my head again? What's going on over there? Start the chimera. What's your status? No, stay on task. There's still some buildings on this bridge. Why? Every time! Why can't I love something? Some say they were set up. Others call them murderers. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Uh, well, we all lost something that day. But that 
That's not how this story ends. <laughs> Meanwhile, in space. Of that. <laughs> that at all. Please welcome Sean Eskai, I mean, creative I director, mean, Crystal Dynamics, and Bill Roseman, vice president and creative director, Marvel Games. The cast. I assume they could have at least scanned the cast. Yeah. Thank you. We love you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you everyone. We are incredibly excited to reveal Marvel's Avengers to the world. A few years ago, Crystal Dynamics and Marvel began collaborating on an original Avengers game. One that combined epic action adventure with cinematic storytelling. A game where we as players can experience in both single player and co-op what it's like to be Earth's mightiest heroes. Do I have any true believers in the house? <coughs> yes! <laughs> awesome. Because you will instantly recognize your favorite superheroes and villains, but you'll also see that they're unique to this game, as this is Crystal's interpretation of these iconic characters. Our story begins at A-Day as San Francisco celebrates the opening of the Avengers West Coast headquarters and the team's custom helicarrier outfitted with a strange experimental energy source. However, the day turns deadly when an attempt to steal this new technology results in massive destruction. Blamed for the tragedy, the Avengers are outlawed and our heroes disband. Five years later, a horrific evil threatens the world, and our only hope is to reassemble Earth's mightiest heroes. You'll play as your favorite Avengers in an all-new original story showcasing authentic Marvel heroism and humanity. It's about losing what matters to you most and fighting to get it back. this is a story about self-acceptance in the face of adversity, about embracing our individual powers and learning that together we are mighty. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that it's a different looking character. It's You'll lead the team as a legendary close. super soldier, yeah. Captain Take America. Yeah. You'll call down the lightning as the Asgardian god of thunder, Thor. They're like the Uncanny You'll Valley of the just... anger of scientist Bruce Banner by unleashing the Hulk. <laughs> You'll gather intel and strike swiftly as the ultimate tactical spy, Black Widow. <laughs> and finally, you'll blast through the sky as the charismatic Tony Stark. <laughs> known to the wider world as the Armored Iron Man. Where's my whole card? To bring this incredible story to life, we've assembled an all-star cast. I'll let them introduce themselves. If only there was an all-star cast that was playing for the last 10 fucking years! <laughs> so, here we are. Avengers assembled. Who are you people again? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Troy Baker and I play Bruce Banner. Hi, I'm Jeff Shine and I play Captain America. Hi, I'm Travis Willingham, and I play Thor. Hi, I'm Laura Bailey, and I'm playing Black Widow. Hi, I'm Nolan North, and I play Tony Stark. There's certain characters I don't think you ever have to be uh, 
talked into. <laughs> yeah. You know, so we'd like to have you play Tony Stark Iron Man. Yeah, yes. <laughs> uh, you know, everybody always portrays him as this super confident character. And I think it, it's a mask for, for him. I think he's a, one of the most vulnerable guys. I think Bruce is just such a cool character. A lot of people are, are really quick to, to bring out the big green, but I think that that Bruce is a super complex character. He's fun, and I've never played him before. What is very relatable about Natasha is she's extremely capable, but she's at the core, she's human. She's surrounded by all of this larger-than-life stuff, and she has to step up to it. I, I feel like Thor got really interesting in the last like 10 or 15 years. For, for me, I, I like where he's kind of landed in the, the public eye, you know? One of the things I think is cool about Cap is I never feel like he uh, he necessarily wants to be a leader. He accepts that he is. I feel like sometimes the best leaders are the ones who don't necessarily want to be, but they're right for the job. Having an original story to tell as well, what they've done at Crystal Dynamics is great, so I think everybody's going to be pretty stoked. The Avengers are at their best when they are all together, but the chemistry is... <laughs> do not shake. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Can't wait for you to be able to play the game. But right now, you don't have to wait for some exclusive content. Done. Five years since the thing started. Do the Avengers pose a danger to society? That was the question, Bruce. That was the question. Did you even check the science? Did you check? It was a heist. Bruce, no. We were outsmarted. No. The Terrigen reactor was unstable, and you knew that, you knew that, and you still paraded it before the entire world. So what? We just give up? We didn't give up, Tony. We failed. At least I can admit that. No. No, we failed him. We failed him. Please welcome Scott Amos, Head of Studio, and Megan Marie, Senior Community and Social Media Manager, Crystal Dynamics. <laughs> Hello, E3. Super stoked for this. <laughs> yeah. You like Spider-Man, they're like, it's a new story and we're setting it far away from everything that was going on and redesigned the character and redesigned everything. Of Marvel's Avengers. And then you got stuff like... But launch is only the beginning everything. of this adventure. Oh shit, it's gonna Marvel's be Marvel's Avengers delivers a narrative over multiple years with exciting new content released at a regular basis. Oh no, it's a fucking game to deserve this game. You'll assemble into teams of up to four players online <sighs> where you can master extraordinary abilities there's five where Avengers. you can customize a growing and roster of heroes of <laughs> and defend the earth from ever escalating threats yes! oh yes oh yes and to make sure everyone comes on this journey with us I need to take this we're incredibly back thrilled back to announce that every new superhero and every new region will be delivered at no additional cost yeah, it's got microtransactions as well. Oh, yeah. Hope you like buying your Iron Man suits. So our promise to the community is Some that we won't have yes, not last. or pay-to-win scenarios. Yeah. <sighs> this game represents a collaboration across Crystal Dynamics. <laughs> Marvel Games. I know you're out here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. Montreal. These guys are here. Yeah. Nixie Software. Yeah. Our new Crystal Northwest studio. Yeah. And everyone at Square Enix. So our game is about embracing your powers and living your superhero dreams. We have an exclusive gameplay demo in our booth that will show you more of the core campaign. It's original story and it our superheroes in action. So, Marvel's Avengers will release worldwide on PS4, Xbox One, Stadia, and PC. That's a Marvel Alliance. <laughs> and we're excited right. to be partnering with PlayStation to bring 
some awesome surprises to the PlayStation audience. <laughs> including early beta access <laughs> and unique benefits that we'll be revealing in the future. But before we go, we have one final glimpse into our world, including when you'll get to play this game. <laughs> this is what's next for the Avengers. Thank you, true believers. I don't believe in shit, man. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, look, it's my fifth giant spider mech of the show. Hank, that doesn't look ready. Come on, Tony, live a little. My God, my guys into watchdog. Unbelievable. It worked. It's sort of cute when they're small. Ah, I didn't doubt you for a second, Hank. That's a while away. Hank Pym, playable. I'm going to highlight this show as Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. Yeah, I always forget that Japanese developer that just, just very similar, very, very similar video games. Things I like JRPGs, I just. Um I'm, I'm not fan of fantasy and Shut that shit down, because, oh, God, we're nearly through this fucking month. <laughs> well, the, so. <sighs> Should we go through what they, um, what they had today? Can you just summarize anything that's a JRPG as just, just say another JRPG? Because my thoughts about them are all the same, apart from Final Fantasy VII, which looked good. Yeah, right. well, yeah, well. I mean, there was Dragon Quest, there was Octopath Traveler. Octopath Traveler looks good. Dragon Quest is a game that when it came up, you went, "Oh, I hate the fact I'm going to play this so much." That was Dragon Quest Builders. <laughs> oh, Dragon two. Quest, which is just a JRPG. Yeah, but you know, <laughs> I played one on the PS2. I mean, the JRPGs that they covered that aren't Final Fantasy, mm -hmm. I am at least vaguely interested in. Yes. You are the JRPG person in this I house. I do like JRPGs. It's just... you and Eli. You're the two that really like <laughs> in this house. Uh, I just don't like Final Fantasy. Um, I mean, you like the first, the Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah, the fact is they've kind of gone, hey, we're getting rid of the whole core gameplay and <laughs> we're changing it for something that's actually fun. Yeah, I like to write. Octopath Traveler is £50. What, mm. on Steam? I don't believe you. <laughs> what else? So what was that? Right, let's go through them all then. What was after... Final Fantasy Seven, then Life is Strange Two, which is not my thing at all. Yeah, I'm not into the sort of that talky adventure game narrative thing. Did you even try to play the? F I have zero interest. I didn't like Telltale games. Uh, just you like feelings and things. I do, but I think that's a crap way of telling a story. I just find it really slow. Yeah, I I hated the. Octopath feelings. Traveler on Switch on Steam is forty nine ninety nine. That's high. Mm. That is very high. Hmm. On the bright side, I'm level 78, one prestige on uh, oh Flips and Blops. Um, I think, <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that are really excited for Life is Strange 2, though. Because they've had a big fan community that Oh, time. absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's not it's not our kind of thing. Nope. Uh, Crystal Chronicles. Oh, the remake of Final yeah. Fantasy. Uh, Octopath Traveler, which I think looks good. Pounds, bro, that's a lot of money. Mm, I don't know if it's going to get a sale either. Oh, it'll probably get a sale. Yeah, but it'll take a while. Like, it won't be enough off, will it? Life Strange 2 has been out for ages, apparently. Oh. Oh. Do, 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 do. Okay. Do, do. Um, do, do. The Last Remnant. I can't remember which one that was. Was that Final Fantasy? Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> Dragon Quest Builders 2, which I will play. <laughs> and hate yourself for. Yeah, I, I just, I hope they fix the problems that I had with the first one, and then uh, it'll be... Well, they don't go, you've done well. Now, we're going to delete everything and move you to somewhere else and you'll never be able to come back. It was the fact that you don't remember the things that you've built. Yeah. 
that's just you have to re-research literally everything that was not a good way of building a game like that uh then there was dragon quest 11 uh circuit superstars i thought that was gonna look better when they were talking about it yeah just when they were talking about it i was like oh i'm interested in this and then that popped up and i was like oh yeah i don't know I'm not feeling that. I don't know yeah, about you. Yeah, it's not my kind of thing at all. Mm. I think races are nowadays about a bit more about the spectacle of it all. Like, they can be the most pretty games in the world, etc. Like, Forza's fucking gorgeous. It's ridiculously pretty. And then, you know, anything else I like to play in this racing is VR. Uh, that was um, Battalion. Oh, yeah, the new expansion for Battalion. I think it's an expansion, or DLC, or whatever it is. Whatever they call it in this day and age. Shadow Bringen? No idea. Is that what I wrote down? <laughs> um, <laughs> Only you will know. Saga, Scarlet Grace, and something else. That was the one that was like, everything changes and everything you do changes and stuff, but then it was like turn-based battle. So that, I have all the JRPG things, I think that was something that interested me, interested me the most. Final Fantasy War of the Visions? Yeah, that looked bollocks. <laughs> Outriders? I think Outriders looked like good, but just generic. Third person, yeah, generic third person, dark sci fi future. I assume it'll be solid, though. <sighs> yeah, but every game that comes out these days is just solid. You don't, solid don't get you shit. Solid is 7 out of 10. Yeah, I know, but if you like that kind of thing, then it would be a nice, just like. I don't like that kind of thing. You've got to well, be no, good to bring do. me into that kind of thing. For those who do, I think that would be worth picking up. Yeah. Um. Oh my god, I don't even know what I've written. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Aranaki. What on earth is that supposed to be? Aranaki! Was that actually what that yeah, was? Yeah, that was that one that they were like, they kept saying a word and then it wasn't called that, so I can't remember what it was. Oh, okay, I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, I know it was like two games ago. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, they covered Dying Light 2. Thank you, Josh22. Yeah. I'm obviously very excited for Dying Light 2. I don't know why I didn't write that down. But it's uh, half past three in the morning, so we don't sound very excited. We sound very fucking tired. Yeah, I, 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 yeah I'm yeah, i really excited for Dying Light 2, though. Um, I'll obviously be picking that up, because the first one was amazing. Final Fantasy 8, which looked like fucking they had started awful. on it yet. <laughs> it fucking awful. That frame rate was dreadful. I don't know if that's... Yeah, if they're redoing that, is that the version that works? It's just yeah, that it's I coming. Know. I don't know. And then Daniel's favourite. Oh, fuck the, you. <laughs> the Avengers thing. I was so excited. Been, that game has been hyped to the fucking moon and back. And that looked like a shit PS3 game. Yeah. Mm, I was expecting a lot more They've than got that. a really nice voice cast. That is a good voice cast. Yeah, definitely. But they have modelled the characters far too fucking close to the MCU. Mm. Because they are just in their co- the right costumes and the right this and the right that. They didn't go anywhere near far away enough. Mm, they they didn't try and put their own off, spin on they? it. I mean, you can go away from the MCU and be successful. Spider-Man has proved that twice in the last couple of years with Into the Spider-Verse and the PS4 Spider-Man game. Mm-hmm. Both of which are fucking amazing. Into the Spider-Verse is possibly the greatest animated film I've ever seen. Totally agree. Yeah, that's that's good shit. But this just being a You'll get some of it. It kind of felt like the Lego Avengers can be like, you'll a lot more Avengers than this, but it's a games of service game. Content comes out drip feed slowly. I don't play games like that. Mm-hmm. I play a game, I finish the game, the game goes on the shelf. A few years later, I might play the game. You know, that's that's how many people roll these days. It looked disappointing. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 looks a lot more interesting, and that's got a lot more characters and shit in it. And that's on Switch, so yeah. Um. Yeah, if you're gonna design your characters that close to the MCU, I mean the Helen character is identical, the outfits are identical. If you're gonna go that close, it's just gonna look weird. It's got it just feels awkward. Mm. It feels like they couldn't get it. It doesn't feel like they've built an Avengers story they believe in. It feels like they couldn't get. Uh, what's his face? I, all the names are gone because it's half past three in the morning. Mm-hmm. Robert Downey Jr. There we go. That's what it feels like. It feels like they couldn't afford Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. And it doesn't feel like they've got a voice cast that's like the best for those roles. It feels like they got the two guys who do all the voices. Yeah, I don't know why no one else has been picked for that. 
I mean, Donald North is a great Deadpool. I mean, he's 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 always great. I just again, I don't know why you would just. I don't know. Because I don't you know. can advertise Nolan North to sort of soften the blow of not having Robert Downey Jr. or any of the cast that have made the last 10 years ridiculously, ridiculously well done. I don't know. It feels like Marvel aren't really... If Marvel were super involved in it, they'd do their own thing. It's a bit too close. It doesn't sit right with me. And it's a games of service game with lots of free content, which means it's going to have microtransactions, which I think of medics, but it's, you know, the usual shit. So it's going to be like the destiny of Marvel games. Which is probably why I didn't show any gameplay, because it's probably really repetitive and boring. Mm. Um, but yeah, absolutely fucking zero interest, which is sad. But next... <laughs> I need to score that one. Oh. I mean, it wasn't quite Bethesda terrible, but it's pretty bad. That's 3 out of 10. Final Fantasy looked interesting. Everything else was a gap. But next, as you were saying. <gasps> tomorrow. Tomorrow, 5pm. Uh, the tomorrow. final E3 conference we will be covering. It's Nintendo. We will both cry on the stream if there is no Animal Crossing. If there's no Animal Crossing, I'm going to literally be fucking livid. Yeah, I'm going to be really <laughs> I'm going to be really annoyed. I'm going to be just so bitterly disappointed. I mean, Watch Dogs 3... Watch Dogs Legion, sorry, looks incredible. And the extra footage we've seen is stunning. And there's a lot there. And so, honestly, if they don't announce Animal Crossing, I'm going to be disappointed. But Animal Crossing is coming. We know it's coming. They have announced it. They've still said it's coming this year. If they don't announce Animal Crossing, I'm just writing off this year's E3. <laughs> no, there was some good stuff. No, I'm here for Animal Crossing. I know, so am I, really. I mean... I mean, there has been great things, but... Like, with this, with this actual thing that's on the screen right now, I did try. I did try to put things that I like and I thought would be the best thing. Like, you see my disbelief in Marvel because I put Cloud? Because <laughs> I thought that actually might be the thing that, if they've done a really good job, it might interest me. I didn't think it was going to be sort of thingy, but I was expecting maybe Fallout on mobile and I didn't think Xbox would have anywhere near the amount of good shit that they had. Because mm. that was a fucking great conference. Also, Cyberpunk. So, you know. Um, hey, if you want a bit of a recap of what we've been doing on the YouTube channel, currently there are two videos. There is the Xbox conference and the Bethesda conference abridged. I have summarized them for you in a comedic way. About four minute videos long each. And it's basically just a quick video, but for each E3 stream. And I am currently in the middle of writing the PC gaming show one. So yay, the stuff on the YouTube channel you can go watch now. But I don't think we have anything more to say about that. No. No. I am going to go do a really big shit, though, so I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> I've got that pencil in. I just have got a pencil up my ass. Right, I'm going <laughs> to... Oh we'll see you tomorrow in... Fuck knows. When, what time's five in real hours? For who? For me. 13 hours, 30 minutes and 51 seconds time. Oh, God. I'm going to sleep that entire time. <laughs> As will I. Good night. Good night. And go watch the videos, because... They're right, I suppose. Bye! Bye! I'll close the tap of the music. Fuck you.